So what passives should you pursue unlocking and how do you unlock them? So to inherit skills, you have to have at least level five bond with the emblem whose skills you want to inherit. And as for which skills you want, it's really up to you. Uh, some of the best skills though, I'll go over some of like the staple skills that you probably should optimize for. Uh, Sigurd will be one of them. So you want to get Cantor. Cantor is one of the best abilities in the game. It can be put on any unit. After that unit casts a spell, uh, attacks or uses a staff, they can move two squares, even if you've used all your move as well. So right now I'm getting it on Hortensia. Other skills that are useful, uh, Void plus 15 is good, Hit plus 15. These are all really good. So let's focus on some of these other ones really quick. Just kind of run through some of them. So you will have to spend Bond Fragments or just equip the ring in question, but Bond Fragments is always faster. And if you want, you can hit right trigger to see what you can get. Now I won't tell you the cost, but you can see here I can get a Void level 10, a Void plus 15 on Marth. That's a pretty good one. Now the Magic Plus is obviously really good to increase your damage, but it's very expensive. So all skills have different costs, basically. Hit plus 10, I believe is like 500, maybe 300. Uh, but Cantor is 1000 SP. So you need to unlock these things either by allowing your units to bond with the ring and then viewing the support conversation so they can hit level five and inherit and then hit level 10 eventually, or you can just flat out buy it. You can also view all of these things. Uh, but arguably Cantor is one of the best things you should always get on your units. I didn't run it until like halfway through the game because I just didn't unlock it fast enough and you do lose Sigurd at chapter 11 for a few chapters. So if you can get it early on your early units that you're, you plan on using, it's great. Another one that's good to do is Lin. You get speed plus two, that can help. Now it's only really good on units that can either avoid getting doubled or get pushed over the edge to double, but speed is usually pretty good and it's cheap. There's other good ones as well. Uh, Gentility is kind of cool, take three less damage. I don't know how useful that is though. It's cost a thousand. What else? We have Lagoos, Lagoos friend. I don't know how to say his name. Lagoos, Lagoon. Unit takes 50% less damage, but avoid is zero. So this would be good on units that don't avoid. I think this one's a thousand. It might even be 2000, but this is also a passive of Ike's. So also note some of these don't stack. So for example, if you have Sigurd equipped and then you equip Cantor, it does nothing. It just, he already gives you Cantor. So basically Cantor, uh, some of the prowesses are okay. They're kind of hard to get though. Oh, another one that's really good is Mentorship. This goes without saying. This one plus Cantor should probably be your top priorities. Getting 20% extra XP and granting it to adjacent allies is absolutely insane. And I haven't tested this, but it might stack. So if you have two units next to each other that both have this, if they, they get 20% and they give 20%, they might both get 40%. And if you get a, like four units together, they might all give each other 80%. Or no, it'd be 60. Because one would give out 20 to two others and then receive 20 from two others. So it'd be potentially up to 60% bonus XP. So that's a pretty good one. Some of these are kind of weird. This one's kind of nice. I don't know that you could run this very well, but if you hit a dude, they just can't move. So that's kind of interesting. But the XP, dual assist is good, but it's only useful on backups. So this was a mistake I made early on uh, where I put dual assist on non-backup units. So it says if they're able to chain attack, meaning that if they are capable of producing a chain attack, which is, you know, you have to be within range. And then in this case, it has a 35% chance to automatically give you the chain attack even if you're not in range, if they could, if they could hit it, and it turns it into RNG. And there's also dual assist plus, which is way down here. <laughs> Seven, it turns it into 70%, which is pretty reliable. Then you have dual support, which is also really good. This could be good for evasion builds, so I, I kind of wanted to call this out. Uh, if you have units with high support, they can give each other um, evasion, like if they're standing next to each other and they have dual support, so. Pretty interesting. There's other things that are decent. Um, augment is kind of crazy if you can get it. Because <laughs> uh, staff range plus one, area effects plus one. 
I don't know if you can hold on. Can you actually unlock that? I haven't even tested this. Let's see. Alright, so let's go to the ring chamber to get these abilities that I just got. So I can put Cantor on Hortensia finally. We're in chapter 23. It took this long. She was at like 900 SP forever. I finally should be able to get Cantor. So you go to Inherit Skills. Let's go to Hortensia in this case. And then let's find it. All right, here we go, Cantor. Then you can just hit right trigger. And I did get her dual assist, but it doesn't do anything. All right, so now she has HP plus five, which is kind of okay. She needs something better, but I, I wasted my points on dual assist, so don't do that. All right, now one thing I want to check. Oh yeah, I have to give, all right, you don't need Cantor because she has Sigurd equipped. She can get hit plus 15. Well, actually, no, she inherits that from him, I, I believe. It might stack, though. Yeah, it tells you when things stack. I think she can stack. She's already accurate, though, so she doesn't need it. All right, let's go to my u new unit. I just got... Actually, maybe I shouldn't show a unit. That's a spoiler. All right, we'll avoid that. Okay, so let's see if we can get that one crazy ability on... Is it Micaiah? There's one of these casters. I think it was Micaiah. Yeah, I don't think you can get that crazy passive where you AoE heal with plus five range. That's her, uh, that's when you use her thing. Okay. Uh, so that's pretty much it. How much SP do you have? 220, 255? Am I reading that right? That's not that much. She needs better abilities. I think I wasted her stuff maybe. On dex plus two, yeah. Oh wait, no, that makes sense for her Sandstorm. That actually makes sense because of her sandstorm. So if her, she, her maxing out dex is logical in this class to some degree. Uh, but that's it for this one. Uh, definitely get Cantor. I would say that's your number one priority. Mentorship and Cantor. Cantor. Cantor are probably <laughs> the best ones for like a generic unit. And then you can also look at what a unit needs. Some units need hit plus 15 and hit plus 10 so that they can land hits. Like some axe units are very inaccurate. So you kind of have to play it by ear. Some of those things can be addressed, like accuracy issues can be addressed with um, like weapon forging and also engraving. So be mindful of that. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. Definitely like and subscribe. Feel free to drop Cantor as a comment and peace.